Hi guys, welcome to the first video of FIFA 21. So this is just going to be kind of a mini review of uh, Yota and uh, Calvert Loon. At least I think his name is pronounced Yota. It might be Jota, but I, I think it's Yota. So uh, you can see the team here. It's a bit of a mess, but I'm pretty. But Yota and Calvert Loon are on full game, so that should be fine. Actually, Calvert Loon's I think on um seven, but it's he still plays quite well. So first, uh, we'll just take a look at this objective card that EA have given out. Uh, I hadn't played with this before. He's four star, five star. His stats are decent. Like he only has eighty three pace, but then he has a lot of acceleration. So if you use that well, he he still can be quite fast. He has good decent shooting stats, but this year like a lot of finishes go in. So seventy seven finishing should be good enough. Eighty two at attack positioning and shot power is also pretty decent. And you can always boost that. Like you get plus ten finishing with a hunter. So. It does go higher. His dribbling stats are also really nice. Like everything's above 80. It's not like he has low reactions or low composure. Everything's above 80. That's nice. And then when you look at Calvert Lewin, on the face, it might not look like an amazing card, but then again, headers are back this year, so it might actually be quite good. These were the tactics I used for this. I, I actually was playing, uh, started with 8 depth, but then like that was a bit too much and uh, I can't defend very well, so I had to drop it back a bit. I really like this formation, the 4 1 4 1. And the center mids, like, if you have good center mids, you can do a lot with this formation. Like, Renato Sanchez is just exceptional. Yeah, I was just looking around for, like, substitutions, and then we decided to look for a game. I ended up playing, so, what one thing I can say now is that I ended up playing Yota on the wide, like, most of the time. I think I subbed to put, put him centrally for, like, a half. I definitely think Yota is better um, centrally than out wide, so I shouldn't have done that. But I did. Uh, it's fine because you'll still see a lot of gameplay from him. But I definitely think that centrally is a better place for him since he, you know, doesn't have the pace to like get in behind properly. So you can use someone faster out wide and him centrally. This is the first team, so it's a pretty decent team. I mean, like, yeah, it's pretty decent. Not bad by any means. Here you can see our opponent has the ball. Renato Sanchez with a very good interception. Gives it to Calvert Lewin, who. Oh, this was just a filthy goal. Oh my god, this was right after his kickoff as well. Like, Calvert Lewin just went and through his defense. There's nothing he could do about it. Now we have again Renato Sanchez out wide. I tried crossing it. So the goalkeeper doesn't punch that for some reason. That was supposed to be like towards the goal, but then it goes back out wide. It was a really, really weird move. But we get the ball back to ZH, who we try to make a chance with, and we ah uh, we just ball rolled it into the opponent there and messed it up. Now you can see that that's a really nice part of Calvert Loan. Like he he wins those headers like ninety percent of the time, or even more. And now you can see we get the ball here at the edge of the box, and we get it in with ZH. So. Again, like, I really like having a tall striker up front in this game because I, I liked it last game as well because you could do st still do stuff like that even though headers were not that good like when you tried shoot, scoring with them. But now, having a tall striker can also mean you can score headers. So it's like a double benefit and that's a really nice thing to have. Here you can see we get an another chance with Calvert Lewin. He isn't the best dribbler. I don't think you should get him if you like strikers who can dribble. But then there you could see that you can still make chances with him and now you can see that Yota's on the ball he's quite nice on the ball and you can see if you keep doing those fake shot stops and moving that that's making full use of the acceleration we got quite lucky there to um win the ball back with Yota so I don't think we really deserve that goal now you can see we got the ball with children and we're trying to play it out of the defense but Calvin just couldn't about win that here our opponent gets a goal back we made a mistake and we paid for it. But we, right after the kickoff, we kind of created a chance. I kind of went, I didn't know what to do there with Renato Sanchez and just tried to create something. And we literally went in a circle and managed to get the ball to Yota. And this was actually a pretty decent position. And you can see that Calvin made a decent run, but we just lost the ball there. And uh, you can see here he makes another really nice chance but Thiago Silva there with the important challenge but then he gets the ball back and we commit that was again my fault I shouldn't have pressed that RB X uh, RBB tackle because that's a new hard tackle and I shouldn't have done that but here you can see Ikone is on the ball it's a very good chance we lay it off to Yota we take a touch because I've noticed the first time shots aren't very good so 
take a shot and then it's really good finesse shot from him. I subbed on Rodrigo now, it's the second half. I'm pretty sure I subbed him on for... Uh, wait, I forgot who I did sub him on for. But yeah, anyways, he gets the ball back to ZH, who's kind of lucky to keep that ball and we end up finishing that chance. ZH is really, really good. And he has those five-star skills like that. We like we used that five-star skill to make that angle. And that's Caledon's second goal of the game. And that is the end of the game. Now, this was weird. My game lagged a lot and it even crashed. So, like, I only show the goals because it was really, really laggy. But then we ended up matching the same guy up, like, after we I relaunched the game. So, you'll see another game against him. So you can see Yota with some skills. Renato was in acres of space there. I don't know how he found that, but ended up scoring that. Again, Yota on the ball. Even though Yota's passing stats aren't good, they're still like decent. I noticed that Calvertone's passing is actually quite poor, but Yota's passing is not that bad. Again, we managed to get some space with Yota. Late after DCL, the shot gets blocked and then we score the rebound. Like, not a very good goal. Yeah, so then, like I said, my game crashed and now we've matched up the same guy again. Identical team as well, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Yeah, it's the same guy. I don't think he changed his team either. I can see Yota's on the ball. We keep it wide. That guy just doesn't know what to do and we're playing it around. He gets the ball back. Calvert Lewin with the bicycle kick and good save from his keeper. Now you can see we got the ball at the edge of our box with the edge. We drive forward a bit. <laughs> we do the. What, what flick is that? The Akacha flick, yeah. And then we get the ball to Renato Sanchez. Plays it to Yota, who gives it back to Calvert Lewin. Plays it to ZH. There's some skills. And we couldn't find the corner there. I probably should have shot with ZH. Yeah, we tried getting Ikone to run through, but he just wasn't, so we drift in infield and gave the ball to Calvert Lewin. And Yota on the ball tries playing it to Calvert Lewin, but we just couldn't couldn't do enough there. Now another goal kick. Like this is like I really like doing this because you don't risk like the opponent intercepting the ball, you just give it to Calvert Lewin who just lays it on to one of my sentiments. And you you have actually make really good goal scoring chances because like you can just give a through ball to your forward and your opponent's line is already quite high. Here with Renato, we did some really nice dribbling that, but then should have chipped it uh, by tried getting past the keeper. We should have just smashed it into him. Oh, yeah, here Yota gets the ball on the edge of the D box. Right, just looking for a pass because I don't want to pass it to a center back who is like really stiff and miss like. We end up losing the ball with him, but we end up winning the foul there. Even though I, pro I I wanted to take advantage, but it didn't give me the option for some reason. So here we take a free kick with ZH, but um, it's not the best free kick, and it's saved by Ariola. But he ends up passing it straight back to us, and we, yeah, we get the ball with ZH, and another good save from the opponent, and another corner, which. Again, falls to Yota, I think. Like, yeah, again, Yota gets the ball there. Does some step overs, stops, use that acceleration, and boom, it's a goal. Top bends. That was like perfect top corner from Yota. The edge is like, his dribbling is really, really nice in the midfield. And especially with the Hunter, he has more than enough pace. We just couldn't, uh, like, uh, like Davinson Sanchez was able to hold off Calvert Lewin there. So yeah, the really strong centre-backs will still be able to hold off Calvert Lewin. Again, you can see some really nice dribbling with ZH and he just squares it to Calvert Lewin. ZH is like extremely good in this game. And he, he was only like 35k before the ones to watch promo came and like his card went out of packs. So he's not even that expensive. He's just really, really good. Like very good value. Yeah, he has a two-star weak foot, but then it's quite easy to take shots on the strong foot in this game. There with Calvert Lewin, we managed to get a good chance, and again, I kind of choked it. I shouldn't have chipped there, wasn't really the right thing to do. You can see how important ZH is in my build up. Like, I always pass to him and do some skills to progress the ball. 
Renato's well Renato's just runs a lot. Yeah, you can see with the we got the ball and yeah, I mean it was a nice move, but like the rebound kinda of spells it goes. Yeah, you can see we get the true ball to Yota. We do that player lock thing to switch to Calvert Lewin so we can get away from the center back and then good save from the keeper and poor header from me. The keeper gets that little bit too close to him. But then Kovacic ends up with a decent chance here. Our opponent comments well, but he we still get the ball. We find that pass to Diata who made a really nice run. Yeah, the runs in this game are really, really good, especially compared to FIFA 20. Like, they're, they're much, much better. Again, you can see ZH on the ball. This video should just be called a ZH review because, like, so much footage of them. And now, again, <laughs> that was a bad, bad miss. That was the last chance of the game, and that was really poor miss from Target Loan. But, if you saw weak foot kind of coming into play there on that volley, maybe I, I, I actually had time to control that. I probably should have. Anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, Yota, I'm not sure if the objective is worth it. I know he's there for two weeks, so we have time, but he's an average card. DCL is quite, quite good. I recommend him. Alright, guys, so uh, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.